Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me, Bill. And this time we're going to take another look at voltage dividers. And uh, you may have seen a previous video that uh, uh, looked in a bit more detail at voltage dividers. Might be worth watching that video. Um, prior to watching this one, it might make a bit more sense. Um, although I'm sure this one won't make any more sense than my videos normally do, which probably isn't a great deal. Um, but I was looking through... Uh, uh, one of my electronics textbooks and spotted this circuit and uh, I was intrigued by it um, as a voltage divider uh, and even more intrigued when uh, when with a slight twist uh, it's actually capable of, uh, of voltage regulation. So let's stop the um, irrelevant chat and go straight to the bench. Okay here's uh, a little bit of interesting circuitry. Um, as I said in the introduction uh, a few videos back I did a video on voltage dividers. Uh, in a sense this is a voltage divider, um, but it's a voltage divider with a, a bit of a twist. So what we've got here is this meter is measuring the incoming voltage off the bench supply. You can see it's just around 9 volts. And at the moment I've got that meter connected to the um, same part of the rail. So currently that's just showing the input voltage. Now what I've got here are three diodes and a, a 1K resistor arranged and I'll put a little panel up here just to cover up this left hand side that you can um, see the circuit. And what I've got is just three diodes a 1k resistor between the two supply rails. So if I now take the uh, meter probe from this right hand meter and put it at the junction of the between the first and second diode there uh, we get a voltage of 8.3 here, still got the 9 volts coming in. And I'm sure it doesn't take um, a degree in physics to work out that that's the um, voltage drop across that diode. And if we continue down, uh, we're getting here 7.6. And again, we've got the voltage drop now across the two um, silicon diodes. And if I continue right down to the third diode, so I'm now between the 1k resistor and the third diode, we've got uh, just under 7 volts. Um, so that's actually a voltage divider and the voltage drop across these three diodes is being used, if you like, as a resistance against this, this 1k resistor here. Um, nothing, nothing particularly remarkable about that, or apparently according to the um, textbooks I've read, apparently the um, this way of dropping voltage actually dissipates less energy than using um, a resistor, apparently. Um, I'm not going to go into that particularly, but that's uh, an interesting point. So from a, an efficiency point of view, this is uh, um, supposed to be uh, more efficient because there's less energy wasted by just generating heat. Now if I just um, adjust the voltage somewhat, so if I drop the input voltage, say a couple of volts, down to about well, let's go for about 5.6 there. You can see there's a corresponding reduction in the input voltage. We go back up to um, 9 volts again, if we can here. Um, oops, slightly overshot, apologies. Uh, it's quite a coarse control. Um, OK, there's, there's roughly 9 volts again, and you can see we've got this um, one forward voltage drop, sorry, three forward voltage drops, two forward voltage drops, and finally above that top um, one, you've just got the one uh, forward voltage drop from this uh, this diode here from the supply rail. Nothing terribly remarkable about that, other than the comments I made about um, apparently the heat dissipation. But I want to, I'm not going to rearrange that circuit, so I'll just do that, and then I'll come back. OK, slight rearrangement of the circuit. Here's the schematic diagram, and as you can see, we've now got the resistor at the top and the three diodes underneath, and on the breadboard that translates as resistor here coming from positive down to the top of the three diodes in series, and then the um, cathode of that bottom diode is connected to ground. So almost the same circuit, but uh, just to the way around. And again, I've just got this meter attached to the supply rail. If I now drop that onto the top of the one between the 1k resistor and the uh, first diode, uh, you can see we're getting um, just over 2 volts. Uh, 
here, 1.3 volts, so that's your forward voltage drop. And finally, above that last diode, um, getting uh, 0.66 volts, so that's just the forward voltage drop from that diode. Um, so I'll go back to the junction of the 1K resistor, because this circuit, although it's um, apparently very similar, does behave in a slightly different way. So we've got we've got two volts there, and remember before that the change from the input and the output voltage was actually proportional as we dropped the input voltage so that dropped. Uh, now we will get a drop here but it isn't quite the same so let's just drop that down a couple of volts. We've got just 2.05 there so let's drop that down to say 7.5. That's the best I can do and as you can see we've still, that has changed um, but it hasn't changed very much. And he changed about 0.04 of a volt. And if we drop down to say 6 volts, if I can manage that here with a very coarse control, that's that's about 6 volts on the input as you can see. Okay, we've got 1.98. But there's no way now this is um, changing um, proportionally. And if you wanted to graph these figures, you'd, you'd see yes, there is um, a small change, but it isn't actually. Um, an enormous change, and it certainly isn't um, proportional in the same way to the um, to the input voltage. And of course, what we've got going on here is um, if we go back up to uh, to nine volts, and there we've got the two point oh five again. So that only changed about um, you know less than a, a tenth of a volt, really. Well, maybe just slightly more than a tenth of a volt for a for a three volt change in the input. So what we've got here actually is a crude form of voltage regulation. So if you needed um, a, a more stable voltage inside um, uh, a circuit you were building, say you wanted to supply an oscillator or something, here's a potential solution. And it, it couldn't really be um, more straightforward. It's just um, three, three diodes and a resistor. And obviously... If you wanted a higher voltage, you'd, you'd need more diodes, but that's not a, a difficult component to get hold of, shall we say. So there we go. That's a um, voltage divider um, using a resistor and diodes and then swap them around so the diodes are on the bottom. And we've actually moved into the realms of a bit of a, a voltage regulator. Um, you know, if you needed, let's say, um, let's say, a, I don't know, 0.6 volt supply for um, well 0.7 volt supply for your uh, your particular part of the circuit. Um, we've got nine volt input there. If we drop that down to six volt, there uh, we've still got we haven't got a great deal of change. In fact, it's even less than before. So we'll if I go down there to five volts, we start to get. A lower figure now but there's so there's five volts and we're at 0.63 and if I go right back up to nine if it'll do it you know it's changed it's changed 0.004 of a volt something like that I'm looking at a lot of numbers here at the same time so forgive me if that's not quite right maybe 0.05 of a volt you know, so it's changed a twentieth of a volt for a change in supply of, of um, two or three volts. So yeah, there's um, the potential for voltage regulation there, and of course, um, in a way, uh, Zen diodes are a form of diode which is um, designed to to make use of a phenomenon a bit like that to give you um, voltage control, although they do operate in a slightly different way. So there you go. There's a very cheap and very straightforward form of voltage regulation. OK, well, there you have uh, voltage division using diodes and also uh, voltage regulation doing diodes. Maybe I'll get around to doing a video on uh, Zener diodes at some point, but hopefully that's uh, that's been useful. Um, it amused me anyway, and in some ways that's why I make these videos um, to entertain myself, and hopefully uh, it's been useful to you too. Thanks very much for watching, and look forward to seeing you on the next video.